All right, guys, I'm back at it again with another video. I finally have my mic, so the quality will be a lot better just for me speaking, being able to explain different points and everything without having that muffled sound. So I'm really, really excited about that because it's easier to listen to. So hopefully you guys watch all the way through the video. If you do like the video, make sure you thumbs up, ask me your questions down in the comment section below and I'll get right to you. And then you can also have me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is burritos or die. But uh, really, let's get into it. This main video is going to be basically going from 180 waves to 360 waves, the transition, and then just basically information that you need to know, and then things you need to look out for, and then also how to grow your hair. So pretty much what I tell you guys from just from like older videos and then me working with uh, my YouTube channel is I always tell you guys to go 180 waves first, then to go 360s. And the reason why I go basically to focus on 180s waves first is just basically understanding the pattern that you want on the top and then focusing only on one area. I feel as though once you focus on one area or you understand 180, one area completely, you just have a better time learning waves. You have a better time understanding what pattern you like and then you also have a better time understanding what products work best with your hair. Sometimes with switching to 360 waves too early, you don't get that look that you want, then you also don't understand what brushes work best with your hair. So even with wolfing, you're able to wolf 180 waves and also have that nice fade that you appreciate and that you like personally. So you also get into the phase, you get if you want a mid fade or if you want a higher fade or you want like a military cut, which is a higher fade, but it's up to you is you have the creative control with dealing with 180 waves, that's why I suggest it to you. Another thing too with 180 waves is that I find it that it's easier to work out uh, with forks and also understanding what uh, brush method works better, best for you. So if you want to do shower brush, if you want to do vertical brushing, or if you want to just change up to just like a curved brush, you also have that uh, free way to do so. Sometimes also with 360 waves, you will have a problem with understanding patterns just because you're not sure which way to brush. And then you may also grind brush, which is a common thing a lot of people do. And a lot of times the beginners will do that. They'll blind brush. They'll just kind of figure out, okay, this feels the best. Let me just brush, no mirrors, and then they'll have a lot of forks and first turn out. But it's okay. It's, when you start seeing waves, you start seeing progress, and you start understanding that you're just starting out, it's okay to see forks if you know that you can get them out. You know what I'm saying? You can just use a comb and I also recommend doing shower brushing, but 180 waves is the best way to do that because you're able to get those out the quickest without having to worry about the back. Sometimes also too, I tell my guys that you will start seeing progress in the back before you even start brushing that way. But that's normal. You start, when you do good products and you start wearing your direct more, you will start laying down your curls and your curls will naturally just go from 180, 360 and you will start noticing waves on the side and also on the back. But that's gonna be like a natural process once you start understanding the shower brush method, once you start understanding the pomades, and then also once you start understanding how to brush your hair. So yeah, so the journey from like 180 waves to 360 is a lot smoother and then you're gonna also understand more the, like the longer you do it. The more you wolf, the more you understand, okay, I want my waves to be more pronounced here. I want my waves better in the back. You just kind of start like correcting different mistakes that you have and you start understanding that you want to progress in certain areas. And just going from 180 to 360, it's just a lot easier because you understand mistakes that you make and then you understand like once through experience, once you go through it to understand, I need to change this or I want my ways to look like this or I like this waiver. This is my like motivation. This is how I'm gonna keep going and this is the direction I'm going in for like motivation and just kind of seeing like different waves and styles is out there. And you can really just select the ones that match you personally. So with all that being said, um, I do like 360 waves too. Like a lot of my 180 wave guys is going from 180 waves to 360s. It's a good transition too, because you get to also understand like through progression that you want to do a harder type pattern. It's, as you know, 180 waves is a lot easier, but also like because you had that knowledge for 180 waves, transitioning to 360 waves is gonna be a lot smoother and you're gonna have a lot more knowledge than if you just got in straight through, through 360 waves. So like working with, with 360 waves, you can start working on your crown, you can start working also on like more shower brushes, your connections, and then you're also, uh, your brush patterns and all that, and then also even working on different products and different brushes. Because with 360 waves, you can start getting into more of a curved brush or you can do more of a straight brush. So it's just a really good experience to learn like, hey, maybe I may need to do a more curved brush or maybe a straight brush works better for me or maybe I like a palm brush. And then you can also get into like the different types of 
brushes if you want like a harder brush or a soft brush depending on how thick your hair is and what process of woofing you're in so that's why i just recommend it from going 180 to 360 because this is a lot, a lot smoother and a lot less headache uh, a lot of times a lot of my guys who are um going straight through to two 360s they'll show me their 360 ways but they'll notice that they'll have like a lot more forks than my guys who are starting from 180s to 360s because it's a lot of things they're not understanding on to like how to moisturize your hair what products natural products and also the pomades um it sounds like a lot like it sounds like i'm listing off a lot of things but it's just different uh ways you can go about it and if you don't have that large for 180 ways you're going to be confused so um, my guys who go from 180 360s, it's like they understand, okay, I have to make sure I brush, I have to make sure I moisturize, and they also have to make sure I lay down my curls, lay down my waist with that pomade. So learning that and going through that with also with a do-rag is going to be a lot less headache because we're going through 180 360s, you want to understand that, and then you're also going to do it, and then you're also going to progress a lot quickly. Um, that's my main thing for guys. I want you guys to have faster progress. So that's why I say 180 360 because it's like, you can then progress, get your cut, and you're, you're out of the gate. You have your waist how you want them. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to wait like three months. You don't have to wait like a song, like a long, long period of time. And that's just why I do 180 videos also, because it's really good for beginners. And it's not that difficult. It's not that complicated on learning. So, so yeah. Also, like, you know, if you do like 360 ways, if I just recommend you go for 180 first. I always say that. I always recommend that. And I also want you to get... Uh, adjusted to the types of brushes that they are because being a waiver there's a lot of opportunities there's a lot of options for different types of products but I want to make sure you're using the right ones so I always recommend like a Torino Pro you can use like even like hair oils but like I recommend for the brush pro part a Torino Pro than the hair oils like argan oil olive oil kind of like more of a grease if you're more of a coarse hair waver or medium hair waver and then the oils if you're like more of a straight hair waver or like more like a medium hair waver but it's up to you it's really based on preference and then basically how often you wash your hair and then how often you want to brush your hair and all that so that's why everybody's experience is different but once you learn and you understand the keys to kind of get to that next step two through sixties it's a better feeling because you know once you get your cut and you're using good products then you're able to just keep going with the waves. You know what I'm saying? You're able to figure out, okay, I like 180 waves this month. I like 360 waves this one. I want to try 540s. I want to try 720. So it's, everything is a process. I just want you guys to learn it the smoothest way possible. And I also want you guys to progress as quickly. So um, just learn the products, understanding when to use the type brushes, when to use the type oils, when to use the type pomades. It's just very important. It's also timing with this process. So that's pretty much it on that. I just want to make sure you guys understand the products and you also understand the process of going 180, 360, because it will just save you a lot of time. And that's really just my goal is to make sure you get to your ways you want it the fastest. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Hello, it's me. Hi, honey. It's not here. Not repeat from here.